Hey YouTube, this is Nardles back with another G.I. Joe Retaliation Review. This time we take a look at Firefly, the Cobra Demolitions Expert. As usual, it's just the same generic packaging from Retaliation. I'm kind of getting bored of it. I hope they switch it to something else soon. Um, over here it says, Blast Board Lights Up. Firefly here includes two alkaline batteries. And you can see all his other accessories right here, including his additional head. Description of G.I. Joe. And up here, closest thing he's got to a file card. Evil Cobra Explosives expert Firefly lights up the night as he rides his power charged blast board into battle. Loaded with explosive canisters, the board makes him a dangerous threat to the G.I. Joe team. And it shows him here on it. It shows that his arm kind of lights up. Um, yay. Explosive launching action. Uh, grips handle for a power-up glow. Uh, we'll see how well this works out. And it shows him here with his um, other head with the mask on it. And over here we've got the cross cell, which we've got the Ninja Duel Snake Eyes, the uh, Battle Cutter Roadblock, which I've already reviewed, the Flint, which I've still got to pick up, and the Sneak Attack Storm Shadow, which is another one I'll probably skip. I might get the Snake Eyes just so I have a movie Snake Eyes, but I don't care about Storm Shadow. My um, Maskless one from Pursuit of Cobra works, uh, yeah, from Pursuit of Cobra, from uh, Rise of Cobra works good enough for me. Okay, so let's uh, get this opened up and we'll take a look at it out of the box. Okay, so here we have Firefly out of the box. Now he does stand up, but um, because I've got a uh, towel on the table to make it look all spiffy and stuff, I have to set him on a stand. But I checked on like a normal shelf, he stands up pretty decent. So let's get started by taking a look at all the weapons he comes with. So he comes with a gun, which I think is the same, one of the same guns from the uh, G.I. Joe Trooper. And then he comes with a, another little pistol, and this one's a tiny one. I can't remember. They might have had one of these in that set, too. And... can't tell. Is this... Nope. The knee pads, as far as I can tell, are not removable on this one. But... So he comes with those two guns. An extra head of his, uh... mask. A little explosive canister which looks pretty decent and this I really like uh, translucent and we get this thing which is where most of the money went for the set unfortunately um so yeah let's get to this real quick so basically let me have to slide this back a little bit okay so basically, what you do for this is bring his legs up like that into the most uncomfortable uncom uh, birthing pose you can put him in, I guess you'd say, and attach his hands to these little pegs down here. Ken, there we go. And this is the part that took me forever, so I'll uh, get this on and then I'll cut to it. Okay, here we are back with him on his little um, vehicle thingy. So, the wheels do turn on this. They're made out of plastic. And he doesn't sit on there really good. Well, I guess he's fairly secure right now, but... It's a pain in the ass to get him just where he needs to be to sit on this thing. 
Now, the little explosive canister can fit in the front. There's a button right here that you press and it just kind of flops out. And it's like, you know, okay, it went a little farther that time, but it it's not really designed that well. So it just kind of falls out. Now, the other feature, um, I'll shut the lights off for. There we go. Now when you, well, I'll bring them back on for a second. There's a button here. You press it and that'll light up there. And it's supposed to illuminate the hands and stuff, the arms. Let's see how well it works. Let's see if this works any better than like laser, was it laser light He-Man and laser power Skeletor or the other way around? Go out. And the hands light up. It does not pipe up into the arms. So, again, another light piping failure. Okay, come on, turn back on. Okay, there we go. Now, um, so yeah, this is basically a flop. It does look kind of neat, I guess, if you want something to have a little, um, you know, what is it, luge board or something like that, maybe? But other than that, I don't really see the point of including this. So, and it does stay on as long as you, um, until you shut it back off. So, like I said, he does include another head, which is the, kind of like the classic, head for uh, Firefly with the uh, ski mask and everything. I gotta say, he does look really neat. He can hold both his guns, so that's always a plus. Now, because of his light piping, it looks really weird for him to have that like uh, translucent plastic on his wrist, but I would have preferred it to be just solid plastic, but, oh well, can't have everything, can we? Um, also his other head is, and I know it's probably not picking up very well, but there's his whole side of, uh, the whole left side of his face is all scarred up and everything, so I mean, it looks really nice. Um, I would have liked some more paint on it because it's sculpted, but I wish there was, like, um, some washing or something to bring out the detail a little more. You got gray hair on him and everything. But, anyway, for, for, um, overall design, he's got a nice, um, kind of green camo top on and some gray pants with kind of lighter gray knee pads and some brown boots. They actually painted the soles a different color. That was nice of them. And then just some, uh, on the back you got this really cool, I'm not even sure, oh, I guess they're like little wings on his back, painted on with his jacket, so that looks really neat. And the detail on the jacket overall is nice, so, um, if they ever did a second release without this crap, I mean, I'd probably pick that up anyway. Got the Cobra logo on his arm. And then got it again on his chest. So. Overall, still a fairly good figure. I mean, there's always some things that need improvement. For articulation, head goes up and down, and left and right, and around. Ball jointed shoulder. Ball jointed elbow. And no wrist joint. 
um, ab articulation, hip, ball joints, single jointed knee. So he's lost a lot of articulation um, compared to some of the other figures in the line like uh, like Roadblock or who else we got sitting right here. Um, or Lady J. Um, so I mean it's like classic G.I. Joe articulation again but yeah it's almost almost exactly the same as classic Joe articulation so I guess overall it's still an okay figure if you want a firefly or if you want the uh, basically want to punish your head go ahead and pick it up otherwise wait to see if we get a um, ultimate version because if we get one of those I'll definitely be picking that up but in this I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna do with this this is probably going in the bin of random shit so alright I guess that's it so this is Nardle signing out